I'm skint. I am skint, folks. Got no money. Right, let's sort out. Yeah, Ben Sherman, that one. Right, it's very good morning, folks, and this is a Thursday today. Hello and welcome, troops, to Thursday, where here we are once again at my favourite coffee shop, McDee's, and we're going to go and just get a cappuccino to start the day. Nice and that's a great coffee. It's cheap and it's it's great. Good start to the. I was going to say start the day, but it's 11.38, man. 11.38, nice to be starting my work now. And I've already got the night off as well, folks. It's all part of this, you know, this scheme where we sort of, we only work three quarters of a day or something. Oh, it's just, I don't understand it, man. But uh, we're getting there, and uh, you've got to take your turn and, you know, take your shift off. So, so I still got paid three quarters of my wage for working, for being off, basically. So, um, if I'm losing enough hours, it is, but hey, what can you do? I'm actually really quite hungry, folks, but I've just ordered a coffee there. Just don't fancy McDonald's this time of day. A burger or... Um, but it's too late for the breakfast and, you know, I'm in that lull. I'm in between sort of breakfast and lunch and I'm just absolutely starving and just don't know what to do, man. So, probably just end up eating a Mars bar and a, and a cup of coffee. That's it. Anyway. All right, folks. Very good morning. Ah, oh, yeah, very good morning. Yes, it's... Uh, I'm here at Little's, at L L L L L whichever one it is. I came, went to the bakery this morning for breakfast. I got two shock panda chocolate. It's a blast from the past, isn't it? Sh chocolate de pain, or whatever they call them. Panda chocolate, chocolate croissants, basically, or well, they're not quite chocolate. No, they're actually different. There is a difference between chocolate croissants and panda chocolate. Panda chocolate is more of a, I think it's got more of a sort of a crispy. Um, it's bigger than a, a croissant, and a croissant is more like a, well, it's a croissant shape, and it's, uh, it's got the croissant. What am I wafting about, honestly? Right, I think I'll just start that again, because I'm really about to mess with that, right. And I also got two, two, uh, double chalk cookies, so it's something a little bit different uh, to start the day, a chocolate start to the day. <laughs> right, folks, we've also nipped in here to McDonald's now just to get a coffee, but somebody nipped in the queue was empty, absolutely totally empty today, man, but somebody nipped in just before me there. And what again? Let me listen. Oh, they're getting 25 burgers and 14 drinks, and oh, yes, yeah, it's taking ages for some reason. Oh, typical. Oh, no, hang on, he's been told to come to the first one, do when he can. And here I go, folks. I'm in. Let's do this live. Let's keep this camera rolling. Here we go. Right. Alright, uh, what can I get for you? Yeah, morning, mate. Could I just have a cappuccino, please? Thank you very much. Is this not a regular, 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 uh, It's a, a regular one, please. Thank you. Regular, no problem. Nice one. Thank you. Tra. Oh man, these chocolate pans are absolutely delicious. Massive bits of chocolate in them. And when you dunk them in your... In your coffee. Mmm. <laughs> Alrighty folks, now you find me here at a very autumnal sort of scene. We're going to uh, Dalkeith Road, just parked there, and we're going to go and have a look at uh, these strange objects that have appeared in Balgi, not Balgi Park, that's where Frankie hangs out, in um, Baxter Park. I saw on Facebook uh, this morning, uh, I can't remember who had the feed, somebody had a feed, a feed, and uh, yeah, look at the, the house of what we knocked down there, man. So we're going to go and see, we're going to have a look and see what these things are, see if you know what they are, folks. Right, we're in the park now. Some dudes over there shooting hoops. We've got some people playing tennis. Now I wonder where these things are. Maybe, maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it was somewhere else. Oh dear, I don't know. I've, I've come on a goose chase, man. Yeah, I can't see anything. That looks like what I'm supposed to be looking for. Um, oh, hang on. Hang on a second, multi trepidationi. I think I might have seen what I'm coming looking for. I should have parked maybe further down and come in, but uh, oh, right here we go. I've been in Baxter Park for ages. Now I used to play football here with the Zeds. There's it's the old Zeds connection again the football team and the band, the Zeds. You know, this whole this gang of guys used to just hang about together. There was Gilbert, John, myself, and then the football team we had Alan, uh, Alec. Tam, 
uh, Harvey, who's a brilliant goalkeeper, he, he made one of the best saves I've ever seen. The ball lobbed over his all and it was going in the goal and all of a sudden Harvey appeared from nowhere and just, oh, he did a Gordon Banks. Best save ever. Yeah, right, here's these, these things come up here. Let's see what they are, folks. Can you see them? Right, folks, well, here I am at these rather strange, peculiar looking objects. Now, to me, it looks like that's for a tyre to go into. Um, is it something to do with bikes, electric bikes, perhaps? It's got a thing for a card here. You swipe your card, obviously, and the bike's getting charged up here. Is it something to do with you can get a bike and go flying around the park? I don't know, folks, but uh, if you know what they are, then do let me know. I just haven't got a clue what this is all about. But uh, there they are. How many are there? Let's have a look. How many I've got there? 20 of these strange things, man. So, if you know what they are, let me know, folks. There we go. Right, so there we are then. Just, uh, I think it's something to do with electric bikes, folks. But if anybody knows what they are, then, then do let me know. It'd be great to, to know what it's all for. Thank you. Got a raised it's like a dais here. It tells you all about the park. You are here. This must be the, uh, the most futuristic looking park bench I think we've ever seen. Look at this man, it's like something from Joe 90. It's like half of the cat. Look at that. Awesome. I'm not going to sit in there just in case, but... So folks, there it is. Look, as I said, it's like half the cat from Joe 90. But uh, I'm not going to sit in there just in case. But uh, yeah, the most futuristic park bench, I think we've come across so far. Excellent. There it is. Right, here's a postscript, folks. I haven't quite finished yet. It's actually really uh, getting a bit bitter now. This tennis court, or these tennis courts behind me, these have lain empty for, uh, I don't know, it's been a good few years now. It's a bone of contention with the, the, the residents here because look at the state of it, man. It's just totally abandoned and nobody's done anything about it. It's just this area of land that's just totally been taken over by nature. I don't, I don't think you can get into it. You can maybe sneak in that way, but as you can see, folks, yep, totally, totally desolate. So I don't know what they're going to do with it. Well, there's a bowling club right beside it. I think they've got a bit of bone of contention in this area as well. Um, I'll make a, a nice little sort of five-a-side football court or something. But hey-ho, there you go. Right, that's it. That is the end. Going home now for tea. Oh, I've had my tea, haven't I? Have I had my tea? I have, yes. What I have? A burger. A burger and chip it chips at work today. Right, home we go. Hat off. Turn it around, turn it around. <laughs> <laughs>